Go on, out you get. Go on. <laughs> Go on, fat boy. <laughs> get on the... Get in the foot well first. <laughs> Next little bit on the bike I haven't got <laughs> yet. Uh, dummy oil tank next, I think. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different to all the others I've done. Not much, because I quite like uh, sort of the traditional round dummy oil tank. Obviously, it can be made into a proper oil tank for bikes that need oil tank. But uh, I want to stick with the round and the, the domed ends, but add a little bit of something different to it. I have no clue what I'm going to do yet. So I've got me a bit of tube, got me steel ball. These I just purchased these off eBay. They're so, not solid, they're a hollow ball, and I'll just slice them in half and use the ends on the tube there. So I've got that, got my cup of tea, and I'm going to sit here and try and dream something up. I don't know what, <clears throat> there's not massive amounts you can do to change it too much, but I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. So we'll see, I'm going to sit here with me brew, like I say, and think it out. So, camera off, feet up and stare at it. See you in a bit when I've thought of something. <laughs> I've had a bit of a think. <laughs> I'm probably going to change my mind halfway through it. I don't know yet. To start with, I've uh, cut that uh, ball in half. To start with, I'm just going to get these ends on. And I'm going to go from there. To be honest, I really don't know. I'm just going to let it evolve, I think, and uh, just create it as I go along. So I'm going to get these ends on first. These are a bit smaller, which I, is planned, obviously, because I like a little step onto the end of the ball on some of them. Some of them I get to a bigger ball and come straight off the tube, but this one I've decided to go with a bit of a, a step in there. So obviously they fall through a bit smaller so what I'll do is do some tacks of weld on the inside and this ball will sit on them tacks of weld while I weld it in say so it's trying to hold it and get it lined up trying to put tacks on the outside we'll come on the inside so it sits on it for now anyway we'll do that to start with So what I do is sort of get an happy medium because the, these ain't perfectly round, the tube's not perfectly round, so I'm going to do another one there actually. So that will just allow me to sort of get its best place where our little step all the way around will be as even as possible.
think I've got a plan. Um, like I said, I want it basically the same. I want that sort of round oil tank look. So I didn't want to get too fancy. Really. I think as you start getting a bit too fancy, I think it starts to ruin the bike. And being an old old fashioned looking bike, and it won't take too much to ruin the design that already works well. So, I think the difference I'm going to do is where I have the ignition. Some of you are aware, I normally have a, a bit of tube that's obviously all fashioned in that comes out that, that way with the ignition in the end. Obviously not that long, it's... But this one, as I say, I've got... I want to go a bit different with it. I'm going to give it a. I'm going to give it a try. Well, I'll only get one chance at it because <laughs> I am cutting a great big chunk into that ball. I think I'm going to have the ignition that way, so the key is at the end and not this way. So I think I'm going to try and do a tube within a tube. So I use this bigger tube, bear with me, we'll see how this goes, and sink it into sort of one end, not in the middle, that's just too simple. Sink it into one end, right on the edge. Then have the, the actual ignition tube sunk in and coming out of that. Then obviously this outer tube will follow all the profile of this ball. Mm. Ah, let's try it. Why not? <laughs> let's get cutting. Right. I've cut that. That's just a, a template to uh, how I want to cut this. So if I cut round that, that means I'll be able to flip that round and sink that tube in. I hope. tube coming out of it. I think it will. I think that will be different. to no return. That is hot. <laughs> right. Okay, the ideas are coming together, bit by bit. So, got this tube, I've put uh, a bit of return on that. 
I haven't hammered that round by the way, that is a separate piece because this uh, tube's quite thick. So, I've now cut that in there. And the idea is now we're going to sink that into there. Do it. done it's fair uh, I'm having tomorrow off so I just wanted to speed along a little bit so what I've done with this one then as I said we're making it a bit different so I've made this for the ignition which is separate obviously <laughs> this is going to drop in here and you see me cutting all that bit out I've just done a bit of a fixing in here. I don't know if you'll see that. I may change that. It's just, uh, but it, to be honest, it does work. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And it does actually lock it in there. True, to be honest. So I'll decide on that. So yeah. The, uh, the ignition now comes out the side. But, uh, I was going to do this uh, in stainless, but uh, I've got none. So what I'll do with this one, I mean the next one can be stainless. What I'll do with this one is just have the tube for the ignition powder coated a different colour. I know I could get it chromed and all that, but uh, it'd be just as easy for this one to get it powder coated a different colour. You know. I'll be doing plenty more. We can do different options on the other one. And as I've been doing with my last few bullets, I'll take a, a bullet off my machine gun belt. Don't worry, they're all inert, they're all dead. Give it a polish, and each Enfield bullet I do now has a bullet on it. <laughs> so, there we go. And then, Obviously, we've got to get that end on, and then there'll be a hole at the bottom for the battery box. So when I need to get in there, the battery box can come out. You know, we'll be able to get in and bolt that up, take that out, do all the wiring, and so on. Whatever we need to do, will all be done up through the battery box hole. I think what 
what I'll do with this now, we'll get the other side on. And that'd be about it really. I'm gonna have a clean up and call it a day. No, I'm happy with that. I'm happy I've done something different. And this is what we can do. I know what I said I'm doing a couple of end fields through the wind tab, but we can do slight differences on each one. And you know, this is not restricted to end fields. You can use these ideas on anything. Suzuki, Honda, Kawasaki, Triumph, anything. Doesn't even have to be for a key, it could be for something else. But that's what it's all about, just sharing a few ideas. And maybe you guys can make use of them on your own projects. Anyway, let's get on with the other side.
that roughed out for now. <clears throat> may need to be a bit bigger but uh, <clears throat> where's the uh... God, what's that? I'll do for today so the next job on that is the uh, the battery box and all the fittings to fit it to the frame <coughs> and I'll just have a quick I'll have a quick skim over there I've not done all the metal finishing yet, but uh, that gives you an idea where it's going. It's a little bit different. I'll say battery box next, and then the bracket to fit it to the frame. And that is about there. Oh, 
I say, I'm going to be doing um, like an alloy face on there. Bit of a beveled edge, and I'll finish that off then. And then the, the ignition will sit in that a bit better, so we won't have all these threads exposed. And there you go, that'll do. I'm going to get the other side on then because it's uh, getting an awkward shape to hold on to and everything to put the other side on all I do is just a bit of off cut tube drop it in there and that sort of uh, keeps it still for you while you lay the other end out So there we go guys, another couple of ideas shared. Well, that's it. It's, uh, I hope you're all having a great Christmas and let's hope it's a fantastic year for everybody. It's, uh, it's certainly been an interesting one, this end. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you all for subscribing thank you massive thank you for all the patrons and a huge thank you for everybody who's purchased something out of the merchandise store so so grateful it really is a tremendous help anyway that's me done have a great christmas everybody and a fantastic new year thank you